Hey, how's it going? Clinton Jones here, and today we're going to be talking about a uh, Fallout 3 related tutorial, how to make an interactive Pip-Boy. Let's take a look. Alright, so um, we have our screen here, and we have the text, we have some detail, and it looks very Pip-Boy-esque, and um, you know, he's radiation level increase because he drank some nasty water. This is actually from from a short film that I'm working on right now. Um, and, you know, he presses the RADS button here and it brings up his radiation statistics and all that stuff. You know, filled with a lot of detail. So the first thing we're going to do is look at our screen. And our screen looks like it's a 4-3 aspect ratio screen. So we're going to make a 4-3 composition. This is the uh, screen composition. Uh, this is the second screen. We'll be doing all the details and laying down everything that needs to be laid down. This is the first screen. Um, we'll do the same thing. We'll lay down what we need to lay down and then we'll worry about animation later. So um, let's start with making a new composition and we'll make it um, 720 by 540 and you see right here that is a 4-3 aspect ratio. Wait, all right. All right, so let's make a new solid, and we'll make it a uh, dark green. This is for the background of the uh, of the Pip Boy, and let's duplicate it. Uh, Control D to duplicate, and let's type in um, grid, and we'll go down here, select the grid, and drag it over to the uh, top layer, and then let's set the size from set it to width and height sliders and let's bring it down to uh, 10 and then the width bring the width all the way up and then for the feather for the width um, if you hold down if you click and hold down shift you can just bring it past where the slider goes because this only goes up to 20 if you slide this up it'll go to 400 and that will just make it these like these lines here um, once we do that, we can set the color. We'll set it to, let's see, we'll start from here, and we'll set it to a little bit brighter. Maybe something like that. Um, now let's go to layer, new solid, no, not solid, let's go adjustment layer, and we will hold down this button here and we'll go to the ellipse tool double click it and it will make a perfect ellipse right here and let's set it to subtract then let's grab uh, levels drag it on top here and we'll bring the blacks up and we're gonna feather this out if you click this off hit F and just feather that up bring the black up to about there is good alright so let's make another uh, solid and we'll make it this kind of light green here um, you can copy that down if you want and we'll hit alright and we'll call this one um, let's name these layers detail one let's name this been yet I don't know how you spell that um, this we'll just call background and background so for the detail let's get the uh, rectangle tool and we will draw some detail something like this now what I did was I turned on my Fallout 3 game and I took a picture of the pit boy screen that I wanted and I just used that as a reference when I was creating the one before that you saw. Um, I won't need that now, but that's how I did it first. Um, so let's zoom in here and fix some stuff. Let's go and turn on the title action safe. And what I did was I brought, um, if you select these two top, or I guess these points here, hold down shift, you can bring them over. Holding down shift just uh, prevents going you know, up and down or in any direction you don't want. So if you're going this way, it'll go perfectly left and right. 
this will go perfectly up and down. So let's move these over to to this line here. That's what I did for the other shot. Um, that is a little thick, so let's grab these points here. Bring them up. Hold on, shift. Bring them up a little bit. Now let's make some more cuts in here. We'll do one that goes up to about there. And then we'll duplicate it. Control C. Select the layer. Control V. And if you since they're on top of each other, it's kind of hard, you know, to select one. So we'll lock both the first and second one. We'll go to the third one, and we'll just drag it over to the other side. <coughs> We're actually going to stop that right at the edge. All right, that's good. Now. Um, now what we need to do is, you know, type our stuff down here like health, um, info, location, rads, you know, all that. Um, and there's actually a font for it. I think it's called Monofonto. Um, you can search it on Google, just Fallout 3 font. Um, and I think it's called Monofonto. Um, and it, I, I think it's attached with this tutorial. So you can download those items if you need to. Um, and it, it's really kind of necessary for making this. So let's grab the, uh text tool and we will make some new text here and mine's actually kind of weird I have to put I have to bring it up here there we go um, and let's select the font yep monofonto and we'll make it this light green color same color as this and we'll type um, health and we'll take that and we'll just scale it down Maybe a little more. And that should work right there. And then we're going to duplicate that and call this one RADS. Duplicate that and call it um, LOCAL. Duplicate it again. We'll call it um, AMMO. And one more time, what did I have here? Stats. Yeah, we'll do stats. So let's line these up. We have stats, um, health, we'll put health in the middle. Just line it up with this line here. Um, we'll put stats at this side. And then we'll put uh, rads on this side. Because this is the actual one he's clicking. Um, so we need it on this side because in the footage he hits the bottom right of the screen. Um, for these ones, just put them right in the middle, you know, between them. And then uh, we can put this here, right in the middle. And then we'll mark, yeah, we'll start making some cuts um, on the detail. Let's uh, grab the rectangle tool again, and we'll make some cuts here. 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 Basically, we're just going to set these to subtract and cut it out. And we'll set the these five to subtract. You can see that they are cut out, and just make sure that you know, the text is lined up and all. It's all good. It looks to be. So um, next thing we need to do is feather out these. Like you see here, they're feathered out. So what we'll do is just um, make a mask from here, bring it down to about here, and we'll set that to subtract as well, and we'll hit feather. Go down to the ninth mask. We can turn that off, and we'll feather that out to about there. We can bring the uh, these two points up. That's good. 
that off. See what we got so far? Make sure you save the project. Because uh, so many times I have gotten errors and computer problems. And this has not worked out and I've lost a lot of footage. And lots of work. So, next let's create the uh, top detail. Alright, so let's grab the uh, rectangle tool again. Go to detail one. And let's make... Um, Let's actually duplicate our first mask. We need to unlock it. Um, control C, select it, Control V. It should be mask 10. Um, let's lock mask 1 again so that we don't select it. Uh, get mask 10. And we'll just hold Shift and move this up to the top. And we'll um, we'll finalize like the position of these of these uh, top and bottom pieces once we finish the top piece. Um, let's bring these two points in, holding down shift again, and, um, bring it in maybe about there, that's good. Let's duplicate it again, and we'll lock mask 10, get 11, bring it to about here. And bring that over to about there. The reason I'm doing like these uh, specific spots is just because once again, I did the um, you know I looked at the Fallout 3 reference and you know this is kind of what it looked like. Let's duplicate that mask 11 one more time. Paste it in. Lock mask 11, and then drag this over. To about there get these ones, drag these over to about there. Now let's make some vertical little slopes here. Bring that one down to there. Let's um, copy it, we'll lock it, and we'll paste it. And we'll drag that one over to here. Paste it again. Oh, undo that. Grab thir or 14, lock it, paste it, and then. Uh oh. What is going on here? Okay. Yeah, let's bring this over here to this side. And one more time, we'll get 15, and paste it, lock 15, and drag 16 over, holding down shift, right there. Now let's get a, um, let's feather these out. So we'll select everything, and set it to subtract, hit F. And we'll feather out mask 17. We'll turn those off. About there is good. Let's um bring this down just a little bit more. When you're doing stuff like this, especially if it's like you're basing it off of something, always get a reference because, I mean, if you want to keep it... Um, you know, true to the game or to the movie, you're going to want to have a reference and base it off it as much as possible, if that's your goal. Um, so let's actually bring uh, these masks down. Let's see the first one, two, three, four. Let's bring these down a little bit. Ah. There we go. Alright, so let's start typing what we need to type. Um, if we look here, we actually need to cut this out and we need to put the time, the date, and some battery, a battery, a little battery sign here. So, let's um, 
cut this out here. We'll set it to subtract. And there's going to be a lot of um, a lot of masks here, as you can probably already tell. Um, and let's get our text tool. And what time is it? It's about one in the morning here, so we'll do um, one thirty-four a.m. And we will put that bad boy right there. We'll scale it down. My anchor point is off. I don't know why, but uh, we'll put that right there. And then we need the date. And I think today, I don't even know what today is. I guess it would be Tuesday. Or you can't even see that, can you? Because my anchor point's off. I don't know why. Um, Tuesday, comma, July uh, 12th. And we're in the future here. So we'll put something crazy like that. And I know you can't see it, but there you go. Let's scale that guy down. Put it right in there. And bring it over just a little bit. And now we have to do the battery here. So let's get started on that. Alright, so let's go uh, make a new layer. New solid. And we will do something like that. We'll make it a little bigger and then we'll scale it down later. And then let's... Uh, bring out this piece here and then let's actually take mask 1 and control C will lock it and then paste it in and we're actually going to um, actually we didn't need to lock it but we'll hit MM twice to bring up all the options and we'll take the expansion down and we'll actually set this to subtract So we can get like this kind of empty little battery look. And then let's go and make another solid. Something like that. And we're actually going to rotate it. If you hold on shift, it'll kind of click into place. Um, before we do that, actually, let's um, set the anchor point to the middle. If you click this pan behind tool. And where is the anchor point for this? Just bring it into the middle. And um, we'll rotate that again. So if you hold down shift, it'll click. And just 45 degrees is good. Bring it to about there to leave a little room right there. And then we'll do, um, we can scale that down maybe 75. Now we'll do 80%. A little room there, and we'll duplicate it. Control D, hold down Shift, and bring it over to about there. And then we will actually um, pre compose these. So Control Shift C and move all attributes and cause battery bars. And then we're actually going to um, take mask one and copy it and paste it in the battery bars. And if you hit MM, and then bring the expansion down to something like this. Right? Um, and we can actually maybe scale this down. 